that Terry Tutbirds is going to the USA, a journey that now looks super problematic. Why such difficulties, and what does the head coach of our figure skating need there? 1. A few days ago, the Skating Lesson blog reported that a Terry Tutbirds is about to fly to Boston. The main goal is to visit my daughter, Diana Davis. Last season, the Davis, Smolkin dance duo made a serious breakthrough, took silver at the Russian Championship, and got to the Olympics. So now Diana and Gleb have serious chances to gain a foothold in the top. As a child, Davis trained as a single player under the guidance of her mother, and at the age of 13 she switched to dancing, Diana has been skating with Smolkin for the last four seasons. In the summer of 2019, the couple moved to the United States to work with Igor Spilband. Davis has a lot to do with the States, she was born in Las Vegas and recently said she was proud of her homeland, although she later corrected the text of the post, pride was replaced by joy. And three years ago she confirmed that she has American citizenship. Whether a Terry has it is unknown, but everything should be fine with the visa, Tutbirds often comes to her daughter, and in the spring of 2020 she stayed in the States due to coronavirus restrictions. 2. Another probable reason for Terry's visit is the duo's new programs. It is assumed that before the next season, the French choreographer Benoit Trichot will work with Davis and Smolkin. The 34-year-old specialist has collaborated with many stars, Elisaveta Tiktamashiva, Rika Kahira, Daniel Grassl and Dennis Ten. The bright champion programs of Kaori Sakamoto, Olympic medalists and world champions, this season are also from Risho. The choice, if everything is reliable about Risho, is a little surprising, for some reason Davis and Smolkin do not put programs with the choreographers of the Spielband group. And Risho did not support Tutbridge's team during Camila Valiva's doping case at the Games. If minors cannot be held accountable, then they should not participate in competitions, he said critically. 3. After the 2021-22 season, Spielband's group was left by his leading American duo Katarina Wolfkasten, Jeffrey Chen, U.S. junior champions. In this scenario, Davis and Smolkin become the leaders of the group, but is there enough competition? Another important question is why look for difficulties with programs, invite a foreigner, if the status of Russian figure skaters in the new season is not defined? So far, the International Skating Union, ISU, like most federations, does not allow our athletes to participate in international tournaments. 4. Anyway, the emphasis on working with Davis and Smolkin is becoming clearer. But it seems that not everyone is waiting for Tutbirds. The director of the skating rink in Norwood, Rebecca Stamp, made such an email newsletter. The original is available at reddit.com. I was informed that the Terry Tutbirds can visit our club next week. Her daughter Diana Davis, who performs in dance, will come to work on a new production with choreographer Benoit Richeau. The Terry can come to watch her daughter. We expect that a Terry, as a parent, will comply with the rules of our club. You are all familiar with our club's policy regarding parents at the rink. She will not be allowed to be on the ice or stand at the side. 5. In the comments under the news on Twitter, the skating lesson was not so correct. Someone wondered why a Terry was allowed to travel, someone reminded about the unsolved Believa case. With the first, everything is more or less clear. Despite the difficult political situation, no one forbids Tutbirds to move around the world. And if she has a valid American visa, then she has the right to visit the USA. But what to do with the doping test? After all, the Rechenkov law has been in effect in America for several years. The anti-doping law, named after a WADA informant and the former head of the Moscow Anti-Doping Laboratory, applies to all tournaments involving American athletes. The Olympics, of course, are among them. At the same time, the act concerns not only athletes who have violated the rules. The punishment implies a fine of up to $1 million and a prison sentence of up to 10 years. In February, the head of the U.S. anti-doping agency, USADA, Travis Tidgert, threatened that the Americans could indeed initiate an investigation into Camila's entourage under the Rachenkov law. But there are a few nuances. Camila passed a positive test at the Russian championship, this tournament definitely does not fit the law. And it is also unlikely 
that a Terry will go to the United States without having studied all the legal issues, what with crossing the border, what with the anti-doping law. And is it possible to open a criminal case until the investigation is completed? After all, Believa even avoided suspension in the case, she was allowed to participate in the Beijing 2022 personal tournament. Recently the head of the U.S. Olympic Committee Sarah Hirschland was interested in, you see news reports that Putin is defending Believa, and you wonder, if he speaks in her defense before the investigation is over, how can this process be considered fair? And the reverse question would be logical. 6. In our figure skating, they are still worried about Tutbirds's trip. Alexander Julin does not rule out a conspiracy, I am very sorry for Tutbirds for the way all these Western creatures treat her. I don't want it to affect her future fate and career. Now Tutbirds is the number one enemy for the entire American figure skating environment. She is an outstanding coach, and everyone understands perfectly well that by removing Tutbirds, they will remove almost all women's figure skating in the future. It is certainly dangerous to go there, but Atari is a brave man. I think she will definitely sort out this situation. No one has the right to forbid her to see her daughter. 7. For a trouble-free trip, Atari says her attitude to politics this year. Coincidence or not, but this time Tutbirds did not come to the Kremlin for a meeting with Vladimir Putin. Yes, Atari had a show in Nizhny Novgorod, but she used to find time for receptions with the president. In 2018, she even accompanied Alina Zajitova and Evgenia Medvedev at a rally in support of Putin, who was running for another presidential term. I was also present at the inauguration. On March 25, 21 photos disappeared from Tutbirds's Instagram. Among them are Putin's birthday greetings. And now there is not a single champion photo with the flag of Russia on her page.